Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray on ESPN 790 AM. Brought to you proudly by Tennessee Wildlife Resource Agency, Barton Power Sports, Sportsman's Warehouse, and Best Care Home Services. Hey, good Saturday morning. Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray on ESPN 790 on this March the 11th, the, the day before we lose that hour of sleep. Don't forget that to set your clocks. I hate that. Oh, I know it. Ahead. You know, he- ahead. So then uh, that's um, it's going to make me up late for the SEC basketball tournament and all that kind of stuff. But Oh, um, well. A second Saturday sacrifice. of the month. I know, sacrifice. Second Saturday of the month, we talk fishing. Ron Wong is in studio. Good morning, everybody. He's fighting a cold, but uh, right now the the cold is winning, but we hope that, that he'll bounce back. And then, of course, we have uh, an old fa- not an old face, but a, a familiar face. <laughs> it's getting older it's getting by the older, day, brother. Hey, he's getting old. Uh, so happy to have our, our good friend Bill Cooksey, the 12th. In the studio with us. Uh, no, that's your son. That's my son. I'm that's your 11th. son. Yeah. yeah, you're the eleventh. Yeah, I'm Henry the Eighth. I am. I am. But uh, talking fishing, we got a young man on the line with us this morning that we're all so so proud of, and uh, uh, he's got a, a new boat. He's got a new truck, and he's probably in that truck this morning, uh, peeling Beautiful. down the road. A uh, new Tundra Toyota Tundra, but that's uh, young John Garrett. Good morning, John. Morning, man. How are you? We're doing great, buddy. You want to talk some fishing? Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> it's pretty amazing. Ron, you, you know a lot about John, and I know a lot about John from right. what he's done at Bethel. And uh, also, uh, he's qualified for the Bassmaster Classic, where you'll be in, uh, later this month. And uh, so As tell a matter us- of fact, I've listed John as one of the anglers I want to interview on Media Day. That's good. There at the Classic. All right. Well, you can handle that. But tell yep. us, tell, you introduce John for our listeners out there. Well, uh, for those of you that don't know, and I don't know how you can't know. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, because it's been all over the news, whether it's been print, TV, uh, radio. John Garrett is a student at Bethel University on a bass fishing scholarship. And last year... He won the uh, BASS Collegiate Championship, which qualifies him for the Bassmaster Classic. Wow. And to fish the BASS Opens this year. And, John, first of all, you know, from all of us at Outdoors with Larry Ray, congratulations, great job, and uh, you worked very, very hard to get to it. And, you know, with that, you know, there was a windfall of help that came to you as you are now a family member of Strike King That's right. and Lou's. Uh, how does that feel, John? Uh, yeah, it feels pretty great. Uh, Strike King and Lou's are kind of the two, two of the, you know, the biggest fishing names and companies out there, and it's just kind of, you know, very humbling and surreal that I'm part of the, t- you know, part of the family, I guess you could say. Um, everybody knows striking, everybody knows lawyers, and, you know, even best of the best, you know, professional fishermen on my team, it's kind of, you know, it's pretty surreal to see my name on the same list some of these other guys are on. Absolutely. Now, have you been to Conroe yet for the Classic, which is coming up in two short weeks? Um, uh, I, I have not been to Conroe, um, this this winter I was not able to make it down there. Um, I don't really think it'll be a big disadvantage. I mean, we got we we'll have three and a half days of practice. The lake the lake's really not that big, right? Um, and I also didn't want to go go down there beforehand and get anything else in my head. So I'm gonna kind of <laughs> you know start 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 fresh with a new mind and give it all I can for three and a half days before the classic starts. Well, let, that's, me, let, let that's me smart. Yeah, let me ask you something, John. I, I know that. Uh, uh, what was it like up there in uh, Minnesota when uh, all that huge crowd gathered around and uh, and, and you were honored? At the, I mean, this is a dream come true for you, isn't it? I mean, how old are you? Uh, 21. 21. What What was going through your mind when uh, they made the big presentation? They got, you're going to get the boat. You're going to get the truck. Uh, did it seem real to you? Uh. It- no, not really. Um, you know, after, after I, uh, after I won the bracket, everything kind of happened, you know, so fast. It just kind of, 
kind of hard for me to take it, you know, soak it all in. Uh huh. Um, you know, I've, all, I've always wanted to be in the position I am, but to actually be where I am is pretty surreal. And during that time of presentation, there, you know, just right after I got the truck and boat, I'm driving home in the truck and boat, kind of like, wow, <laughs> you know, this is, you know, I'm, I'm going to get to use this, I'm going to be the classic. You know, things started to hit me kind of yeah. seem more real after that, that's for sure. And you've had people who have meant a lot to you in your life. I'd like our listeners to know to some of the the mentors that you've had to get you where you are today? Um, pretty much my, my whole family and friends. Uh, you know, everybody, everybody around me, uh, you know, has support, you know, support, uh, supported me. Uh-huh. Um, and, you know, you know, I got, I got great family and friends. They're, they're all in the outdoors. I get to hunt and fish with them and learn from every one of them. Uh, my granddad, he was the one that, yes, brought me up in the hunting and fishing world uh every weekend during winter we were out duck hunting and deer hunting and then you know when it warmed up every weekend we was hunting or fishing and uh you know pretty much my whole my whole town around me <laughs> um, i would go fishing with different people learn techniques so i was i was pretty blessed growing up but you sure. but your granddad i mean is, is this a dedication tournament for you uh going to the classic uh knowing what he meant to you Oh yeah, um, for sure. You know, he he's pretty much he took me under his wing. He's raised me, taught me everything he knew. I mean, he's kind of he's pretty much a hero to me. Um, you know, he was a veteran of Vietnam. He came back and yeah, you know, raised a family. And I've been I've been blessed to have him take me under, and take care of me. That's for sure. John, you know, now that you you're fishing the BASS Opens, you've got the Classic coming up, but you're also still. All on right. the Bethel University yeah, bass right. team, you still got a life, <laughs> and you've still got your tournaments to do for college. Also, how are you fitting all yeah. this into your schedule? Good question. It is extremely difficult. <laughs> um, the fishing part is not me fishing all these tournaments is not the hard part. The hard part is me keeping up with school. Yeah, yeah. right. And the really bad thing is, like today. It's beautiful outside. The sun is shining. I need to be doing homework, and I'm going fishing. <laughs> I wish the weather was bad all the time, so I'd have to go fishing. Um, <laughs> that that's for sure. Um, but now, usually, I mean, it's it's been pretty tough. Like the days I do have class, um, I go to class and try to spend the rest of my day doing homework. Yeah. Um, but all all my teachers are working with me. Um, Good. I'm not necessarily getting everything turned in on time. I'll go to a tournament, and I'll come back to the next week. Yeah, you know, and yeah. Well, I know that uh, the, I understand at the presentation, uh, uh, our friend that we know, Dave Mercer, uh, called Bethel the New York Yankees, a uh, 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 bass fishing <laughs> that's program. A pretty good description. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. a pretty good description. Uh, and even though you're in the classic, you're taking the Bethel t- team uh, part of you going down there, yet, don't you? You'll be representing Bethel. At the Bassmaster Classic, right? I think we. I think we lost. Him. I think we lost him in a in a in, in a dark hole on his way and to. He uh, was on his way to Eva, so I think yeah. I know where we lost him. Yeah, I've yeah. lost people yeah. right right there near Birdsong. Yeah, that's, well, uh, that's you know, one of those. I got to tell you something. Uh, we're going to have some pictures posted on lroutdoors.com. Yeah, with uh, John's boat and trailer. Yeah, yeah, it's we, a beautiful purple. Uh, we we got him back, and John, I know uh, uh, you're going. Uh, you're going to the classic as as John Garrett, but also you're going as as the representative of the Bethel team, right? Yes, sir. Um, you know, truck and boat has Bethel on, and I I'm still you know pretty big part of the team. Yes. Um, a lot of my teammates are going to be there, and uh, you know, hopefully, I represent Bethel well, and uh, you know, hope, hope to finish good and try my best, make the team proud. Well, you're the well. you're the New York Yankees of, of college bass fishing, according to Dave Mercer. I understand he called you that at the awards program, and that <laughs> no pressure. In, there's no pressure here, right, John? <laughs> I I wouldn't say that, uh, <laughs> but you know, everybody's expecting big and. Um, I'm, I'm kind of getting thrown in with the wolves. Yes, you uh, are. Yeah, you are. That's a good expression right there because I guess you'll have a lot of heroes down there, won't you? Is this going to – how are you going to get yourself uh, 
If you got your your your, your game face, you got some kind of system to say uh, uh, the night before. Uh, just say I'm no, I'm just they're just I'm just one of the guys. Um, how, how are you preparing yourself mentally for this? Well, the what I'm trying to do the best. I'm I'm trying to take this as I would fish a college tournament. Um, mm-hmm. I'm just I'm kind of I'm not really thinking about the competition. I'm trying to I'm, I'm trying to be in my head as in. Not get too worked up by this being a Bassmaster Classic. Um, <laughs> Good luck. I, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not really trying to focus on. I'm trying to beat Kevin Van Dam in a couple weeks. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then I'm. I'm just going out on a lake and we'll try to have as most much fun as I can. Um, I've been doing. I've been studying on the lake. Um, so I, I'm. I'm just going to go out there, not have a good time, not stress out over it. And just take it as another tournament, and not take it as a Bassmaster Classic. Hey, John, you know you're talking about that. Uh, you did pretty well, really and truly, in your first BASS Open that you fished. So you've got some idea of yeah. what it's like to fish against some of these pros. Uh, did that help to fish at BASS Open already? Yeah, um, it's, it's definitely nice. Been able to fish a couple opens already. Uh-huh. Um, coming through high school tournaments and uh, coming through college tournaments, I have a little tournament experience under my belt. I mean, nothing like these guys have. Um, like I said, I, I think the biggest thing is I just go out there and not stress it out, have fun. I think I did pretty well. Well, John, we appreciate you taking time to be on Outdoors with Larry Ray. you got a lot of fans down here. I know uh, uh, all your buddies up there, Brent Calicut and all his, all those right. from the Union City, you got a lot of fans pulling for you and uh, – We'll, Ron Wong, we'll see you down there. We'll see you at the Classic, classic, And we'll talk to you after it's over. And uh, I don't believe in luck, buddy. Just go get them, okay? (laughs) All right, man. I appreciate it. Y'all have a good day. All right, thank you. you. All right, let's take a break. And uh, we're going from the young man. I don't want to say this. Oh, now, Larry. Be careful. Veteran. Veteran. Coming back up on Outdoors with Larry Ray on ESPN 790. You can find 